Hello, uh, this is another documentary video for my experiences with my neck mass tumor uh, that uh, has likely a diagnosis of the Castleman's disease. A little update since my last video. Um, I had a CT scan from top of my head to kind of like maybe around here, the upper part of my lungs. Um, and if you have a medical background, I'm going to show you some CT images from that. Uh, since I figure with the Google Health System and the implementation of Obamacare, there's no medical privacy left anyway. So um, take a look at this first. So here is a side view of the CT scan. Side of my head. And here, if you look at the left-hand side of the screen, this is an overhead or coming out, I'm not sure, it's, I think it's coming out from the neck and working its way up through the body. You see the left-hand side is enlarged. It's kind of like a large, almost mango shape there in my neck, and that's the enlarged lymph node. It's pretty significant in size. It's kind of pushed other stuff out of the way. that's not too boring uh, and if you want to see more details just go through and pause it so um, as you can see that one side is really swollen and I think the concern now is in that CT scan it also appears that some of my other lymph nodes are enlarged uh, I think one of the adjacent ones and um, maybe an, an, another one. It seems like there's there's a group or type sets for the different groups of lymph nodes and I think in the pathology report uh, he listed like t in type 2, 5, and 4 or something like that they, uh, he noticed large uh, enlarged lymph nodes like 2 centimeters so not the no three and a half inches that my tumor is but concern so at this point, I feel like my doctor is kind of saying, you have something a little different here. Um, and so I'm now being transferred as a patient to another specialist, although my doctor currently wasn't a specialist. He's, just, he's an ear, nose, and throat doctor, but I, so I guess another ear, nose, and throat specialist and surgeon at the Leahy Clinic in Massachusetts. So... I guess the thought is, is that Leahy, they work with you with a whole team. So because Castleman's is a rare disease that they don't know a whole ton about, and because um, it affects other systems, lymphatic system, the blood system, uh, lungs and heart, and, uh, you know, so organs can become affected. So tomorrow... Uh, excuse me, on Friday, I'm going to uh, be heading down there, and uh, we'll have to see how it goes. You know, I, I have some concern that I'm going and they're just going to focus on removing the tumor, um, and I've only had that partial top of the head to the top of the lungs CT scan. I, I feel like I really need my whole body scan to make sure that there's no other um, enlarged lymph nodes, because... 
my understanding is that when you have more than one group of lymph nodes, you're talking multicentric Castleman's um, as opposed to the unicentric. Uh, trying to think if I have any other thoughts. I continuing with the diet. I'm drinking right now my beet, pear, ginger, parsley, apple, carrot juice, um, which is interesting. Um, but I'm just trying to go for a natural, healthy approach. Um, so, and thank you for all your prayers. Uh, I really do feel like uh, I, I, I can feel them and it's helping. So definitely keep that going. Uh, I guess that's all I have for the video right now. My pathology, biopsy, the slides have all been sent down to the Leahy Clinic. My CT scan is down there and all my reports. So. They're going to take me in again as a new patient, and hopefully we can get some answers. Um, it seems that there is a specialist at Dana-Farber who knows about Castleman's, and clearly the University of Arkansas it seems to be the leading uh, location uh, for development and research on Castleman's disease. And uh, there's been some promising results with a particular medication that's used for um, rheumatoid arthritis that, that they're using in Japan and Australia. I believe it's been approved for pediatric use. So it's much safer, at least it sounds that way to me, than chemotherapy or any of the things that I have a lot of hesitation about. Um, so hopefully I'll be learning more about that and can share that in my videos. Also, I've learned that, you probably can't see it in the dark video, but I've had this inflamed I and some of the case studies I came across with Castleman's, that was another symptom. So we'll see if the itching, we'll see if the inflamed eye uh, have any connection to the tumor or the Castleman's disease, which I suspect it is, or I suspect it does. So thanks again for watching and for your prayers and your well wishes. And um, if you are someone with Castleman's out there, I'd love to message with you or chat with you or try to see what you've learned or what resources you may have. All right. Thanks. Talk to you later.